everybody, JC here with another TNI toy review. And today's review is in association with MarvelousNews.com, your number one news source for everything Marvel. And for today's review, we're going to be taking a look at the new Marvel Legends Infinite Series Rhino Build-A-Figure, which is part of Hasbro's latest wave of Spider-Man figures. Now, just to recap, this wave includes the Scarlet Spider, which came with the two heads. We get two alternate heads for this Build-A-Figure. We get the head with the mask that covers the eyes, and then that kind of crazy look Rhino without the mask over the eyes. We get two torso pieces in this series. They're the exact same torso pieces, and they come with the Misty Knight and White Tiger figures. So we get duplicates of this piece. We get the right arm, which comes with uh, the Superior Venom figure, and the left arm, which comes with the Chameleon figure. And then we get the right leg, which comes with the Craven the Hunter figure, and the left leg, which comes with the Ghost Rider figure. So the figure is fairly easy to assemble, just like most of the build of figures. We'll set the second torso piece that we don't really need aside. So you just take the torso piece and you snap the legs in. They snap in pretty tight. And then take the arms and snap them in. And then choose whatever head you want to display on the figure. Um, we'll start off with the head with the mask over the eyes. And there you go. Okay, so this figure stands about eight and a half inches tall if you count from his feet to the tip of his horns. The figure is taller than the Thanos Build-A-Figure that Hasbro did. Now, this new Rhino figure is not only taller, but it's bulkier. I think it would have actually made a good mold for this Thanos, which was a little bit on the scrawny side, in my opinion. The new Rhino figure is taller than the old Toy Biz Rhino figure. This is the Rhino figure Toy Biz did that was in that box set. And you can see the new Rhino is a little bit taller than that one. And then here's the old Toy Biz Spider-Man Classics Rhino figure. This was the line that came out before Marvel Legends. And you can see this new Rhino figure is definitely taller than that one. Now I don't have the Diamond Select Rhino figure, so I can't give you a size comparison on that one. The articulation on this figure is pretty good. The head's on a ball hinge joint, so he can look left pretty good, and he can look right pretty good. His uh, chin, which sticks out, does, you know, when you turn it, does end up hitting against his shoulder, so, but still he can get his head turned pretty good before that happens. Head's on a hinge joint, so he can look down. And he can look basically straight ahead. He can't really look up because of the way the back comes up over the, the neck joint. Arms are attached with your standard ball hinge joint at the shoulder. Now with the shoulder pads on, he can get his arms extended about that much. You, know, you do limit how much you can do the arms outward with those on. Now of course you can take the shoulder pad off and then you can get his arm out all the way. He's got good rotation without the shoulder pad and even with the shoulder pad on he still has good rotation. He's got a bicep swivel. He's got a single hinged elbow so he can bend his elbow about that much. And then he's got the hinges on the wrist and the swivel. So he's got some up and down movement. More up than down on this one but he does have the hinges there on the wrist. He's got the ab crunch joint so he can crunch down about that much. I would have liked to have had maybe a little more crunch with the joint just for Rhino, uh, you know, getting his head down for Rhino charging poses. And he can do, he can't really look back too much. He's got the swivel joint at the waist. Legs are attached with ball hinge joints so he can get his legs, um, he can do the splits about that much. He can get his leg forward about that much, out and back. He's got the thigh swivel. He's got a double jointed knee, or a single jointed knee, I mean, so he can bend his knee about that much. And then he's got the ankle pivot, and he's got, he can do his foot down pretty good. And two peg holes on the bottom of his feet. Okay, so that's my view. Overall, I really like this figure. I think it's a nice build of figure. It's got good size to it. It's bigger than the previous Rhino figures, Marvel Legend Rhino figures. The detailing with the sculpting on the armor I think is nice. I like the alternate heads that you get with this one and I like the fact that you can take off the shoulder pads if you want. That's a nice added touch. So this figure along with the rest of the figures in the Rhino Build-A-Figure wave should start hitting shelves here in the United States probably within the next few weeks. We'll have a full gallery of images for this figure up at MarvelousNews.com. There's a link in the description below. 
Now for tomorrow, I'm going to try and get a review done before I head out to San Diego. I'm going to try and get a review done for the new Target Marvel Legends uh, Infinite Series Target exclusive three pack with the Marvel Now Hulk, the White Vision, and the Ultron figure. And then tomorrow evening, we'll be kicking off our San Diego Comic Con coverage with preview night. So we should hopefully be getting some uh, more Marvel Legend reveals, Infinite Series, four inch figures, you know, along with everything else. So if you if you're not familiar with the sites, you know, be sure to bookmark marvelousnews.com, jediinsider.com, tformers.com and toynewseye.com for the latest in San Diego Comic Con coverage starting tomorrow evening and then running through the week. I'll be out there. Shardimus Prime will be out there. Pixel Dan will be out there. So we'll be bringing you all kinds of coverage. So as always, you know, leave a comment. Let us know what you think. If you're so inclined, please like the video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And until next time, I'll catch you later.